Hello, welcome to a new video of Applebaum.com. My name is Joost Applebaum and I would like to tell something in this video about the most expensive Lamy ever made. The Dialog 3 Urushi set. As always, if this video helps you, leave us a like and if you're interested in these fine writing instruments, visit our store in Lado or order it online in our web store at Applebaum.com. The Dialog 3 Uruji is a unique set of four pieces of Dialog 3 fountain pens. The Dialog 3 is designed by Franco Clivio and is now in the Labi collection since 2009. The cool part of this unique writing instrument is that it is a capless fountain pen. The nib can be activated by a simple twist. When twisting the pen not only the nib comes out, also the clip lowers down for the best writing performance. For a few overview of the Dialog 3 fountain pen, check out this video. Lamy design pens are normally not with too many decorative elements, since almost all the items are designed following the Bauhaus principle of design over function. However, for this specific edition, Lamy did something crazy. They invited two master craftsmen to do their magic on the unique Dialog 3. The Lamy Dialog Rushi Edition is limited to only 33 sets worldwide. Let that sink in for a moment. Only 33 sets and we are the only selected store in the Netherlands who has it. Let's have a look at the box the Urushi set comes in. The Dialog 3 Urushi comes in a large square white carton box. At the first sight this doesn't look spectacular at all. But inside this white carton box there are several boxes. Because we had the opportunity to sell this set complete or piece by piece. So besides a box where all four pen fits in, there are also four individual boxes. Four transportation boxes, a bottle of ink, the metal ring tool for cleaning the inside of the pen, a pair of black gloves, to touch the pens of course, some white cards with pictures of the editions on it and a small booklet with the story behind the edition and the authenticity papers. Let's have a look at the box for the entire set first. The first thing that we see is a black carton sleeve. If we remove that, the black carton large square box is revealed. The black carton has a ribbed pattern on it and the Lamy logo is embossed at the front of the box. If we remove the lid, a black velvet cloth is preventing the wooden box from getting scratches. At the top of the wooden box, we find the Lamy logo again in high gloss. This wooden box opens in a very interesting way. The flaps are opening side by side. When the box is opened, we find two wooden trays which hold the pants. Please note that it would be dangerous to ship the pens inside this box because with all the movings around it might scratch the urushi on the pens and that's something that you don't want to happen. If we lift the tray there is a space for an ink bottle and the booklet that came with the box. This wooden black box is massive and it would look perfectly on any desk. Besides this amazing gift box, there are also four smaller gift boxes which we could have used if we decided to sell the pens separately. These boxes are protected by a white carton sleeve. If we remove the sleeve, we find a similar black carton box as the large squared version, except this box is a rectangular one. But the structure on the box is similar. The lid of this box can be removed easily by lifting it up and it reveals a beautiful inlay where the pen can rest in. The inside is made from a sort of textual fabric, which will make sure the pen does not get any scratches. The Lamy logo can be found on the right bottom side. Did you notice that the writing instruments or pieces of art or whatever you would like to call it weren't inside any of the boxes? The reason for this is that this would be too dangerous during transport. The pens would move and there was a chance for scratching on the precious materials. To transfer the pens, Lamy strongly suggested us 
to use the regular Lamy carton gift boxes. These gift boxes make sure that the pens are in a safe during transport. Besides all these gift boxes, there's also a bottle of Lamy blue ink included and a tool for the cleaning of the pen. More about this tool can be found in our video overview of the Lamy Dialog 3. What makes this set so unique and special? It is the materials that is used. Orushi is a material full of contrasts. This natural lacquer, which has been used in East Asian art and crafts for millennia, is distinguished by its exceptional sheen and unique depth of color, which is created through the application of many very thin layers. The Japanese term Urushi describes the materials as well as the technique with which it is processed and applied. Urushi is often also called Japanese lacquer or Chinese lacquer. Urushi has a millennia old tradition in the East Asian region, in particular in Japan, China and Korea, and has been preserved as part of the country's cultural heritage to the present day. This natural raw material comes from the sap of the East Asian lacquer tree and is exceptionally precious as its extraction is only possible by hand and in a very small amounts. Traditionally only exclusive daily objects are finished with urushi, for example bowls, plates or chopsticks, whereby the lacquer has both a protective as well as a representative role. It is usually applied to materials such as wood, bamboo and metal, although it can also be applied to textiles and leather. The application of the lacquer to an object often occurs over long periods of time, sometimes even years or across generations. Several base layers are followed by many very thin layers of lacquer of which each one has to harden and be polished. Once the lacquer has hardened, which is usually triggered by humidity, urushi is more or less indestructible. In Japanese mythology, the material is therefore often also associated with immortality and regarded as an elixir of life. For the Lamy Dialog Urushi edition, the urushi is as a traditional craft and material reinterpreted with an innovative combination with stainless steel as well as processing methods which the participating artists develop themselves and use for the first time ever with the Lamy Dialogue. Each of the 33 limited edition sets include four elegantly finished fountain pens, four interpretations of the Lamy Dialogue 3. The guiding theme of the Urushi edition is a subject with a timeless as it is universal. The four seasons with the own individual moods. Spring, summer, autumn and winter as a symbol for the eternal circle of life. Three of the four editions are designed and artistically realized by Manfred Schmidt from Germany. While the fourth one is created by Urushi master Norito Ogura from Japan. Let's have a look first at the autumn edition, as this is one of the most colorful seasons. The season where all the leaves leave the trees and they change colors from green to yellow to orange to brown. The autumn edition of the Dialogue Orushi has a stainless steel body with a golden PVD coating. The body was smoothed vertically and horizontally to create a fine texture. This structure which has been created in this way later gleams from a depth through the lacquer and the base and surface fuse. The coating is smoothed with structure and finished with several thin coats of transparent urushi lacquer. The transparent urushi lacquer is typically only used for sealing and not in the actual decor. This natural urushi lacquer gradually unfolds a warm amber shade with every layer. This edition is finished with a gold plated clip and ball valve. After autumn we always get the winter, the season which is normally pretty cold and dark. 
For this edition, Manfred Schmidt finished the dark blue PVD coating on the stainless steel body with a black Urushi lacquer. The black Urushi lacquer wasn't used in a traditional way on this edition. But instead, Mr. Schmidt developed a new and original technique. An ultra thin layer of the black lacquer is applied to the steel body. And using a fine brush, he then lightly sprinkles alcohol over the black lacquer, which breaks up the surface and creates a complex structure full of subtle reflexes, which are unique and cannot be repeated. This way, the blue base beautifully shimmers through the black Urushi lacquer. The clip and ball valve on this edition are PVD coated in black to perfectly match the season. After the dark and cold winter days, we move forward to maybe my favorite season, spring. The spring edition is created in a similar way as the winter version. It has a stainless steel case with a light blue neodymium coating. The edition is finished with several thin layers of black Urushi lacquer with the broken up structure as used for the winter edition. This edition has so much depth in it and you can look for it for hours. Please note that this edition is slightly lighter compared to the winter edition. The details on the spring version are also lighter. They are rhodium plated instead of the black PVD coating which was used on the winter version. The fourth and last edition is the summer. This edition was designed by the Japanese master Noriko Ogura and gives the same summer feeling which you have in mind. The technique that he used is so called gold sprinkling technique or also called maquillé, whereby a special super fine grain gold powder is sprinkled over the entire lacquer surface. Each grain of gold powder has a diameter of 0.03 millimeters, so incredibly small. After that the surface is smoothened with a charcoal made of camellia wood, a procedure which highlights the immense perfection and precision of the Urushi Master. After it is smoothened, the grains in the gold powder are reduced to exactly half their original size. The subsequent application and smoothing of a further layer of gold, he grains off, which are slightly larger, creates a streamlined texture on the surface. This really gives an amazing effect and I truly hope that the camera picks this up how it looks like in real life. In daily use, the lucky owner of this set will notice that the lines are kind of polished through contact with the skin and become increasingly glossier. The lower lacquer layers also becomes visible and in this way the fountain pen is subject to a continuous living change process. The summer edition is finished with gold plated details. So here we have the four pens again. The autumn edition in a colorful bronze kind of color, the dark winter edition, the spring version which is slightly lighter and the summer edition in gold, which sparkles of joy. If you want to learn more about the technical features, the filling mechanism and the nib of the Lamy Dialog 3, we're happy to redirect you to this video. This was our overview of the Lamy Urushi edition, a piece of art which you can't own, but you can only take care of it to pass it on to future generations. Let us know which edition appeals to you the most and share your thoughts about the unique set in the comments below. Oh, and if you haven't done it yet, don't forget to subscribe.